All right, so this is the last version that you saw on uh, the, in Update 7 on November 5th. This is, so I added alignment pins in here uh, to both of these. Um, I found the clearance is a little bit tight, so I, uh, I loosened that up and I made them squares instead of uh, cylinders, um, little round pegs, so they're square now. So, something I noticed in this one, um, so I had it in the gun, right, or I had it in the, had it set up, and I pulled the firing pin back. Let me get this in here just so you can kind of see what I mean. So I pulled the firing pin back. There we go. And it got hung up on something. It got hung up like way back here. And when I was wiggling around with it and, and finally, you know, got it loose, um, it caught or it uh, it hit the sear really hard and blew out the plastic on the top. So that is clearly not acceptable. Um, so I was also playing around with a couple different ideas. And what I, what I came to is that uh, I was trying to reduce the friction for one. And I was also wanting to, to shore up the strength of this piece here. So here's what I did. Um, I'll show you, let me show you this version first. I, I tried, let me get this out of the way. I tried doing um, two shaft collars in here. So the idea is you put a shaft collar there and a shaft collar there. Let me show you. So you would take the the set screw out of this, but here's roughly what you're trying to do. Um, so yeah, and and the sear would move more smoothly up and down in there. Um, they help a little bit, uh, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's less friction than plastic, really. I'm not sure. Um, but what I do like is that they make the housing much stronger. Um, so to, to do have the same kind of problem that this one had, um, you have a half inch of of uh, of material or of uh, shaft collar, you know, around, you know, this whole this whole side of the of the shaft collar supporting against this plastic. Um, and this is also thicker uh, up here than it is in this model, right? So it's a little lower. Um, it lowers the trigger a little bit, which I think is good. Um, so you can see there, the, the trigger track is, oh, maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch lower than it was before. Um, so anyway, I did, I, I finished with these. The, so the, the housing for the most part, the, you know, the part that clips onto the T, that's actually relatively good. Um, I still need to find some way to get a, uh, a nut in here. I'm thinking I might come up into the body of the, uh, uh, and this will just sit inside the T and there'll be a little nut like tucked away down in there. Um, but this is right on the rim. So the, where, the, where this rod, you know, this, this um, AR-15 grip screw is gonna be positioned is gonna be right there on the rim of that uh, T. Actually, let me grab you a T real quick. So let me show you. That's something I haven't got too much into. Um, so yeah, that's going to dead end right into the into the T. So that's I'll have to figure out something for that. I'm not going to push the whole thing forward, or I'm not sure. Um, I'll get to that when I when I need to. Um, in the meantime, you can make do. I'm sure. Um, so yeah, here's. Hang on. All right, as I was saying. Um, so yeah, I put a shaft collar in here to support this uh, sear, and that it's, it works really well on the top. It's not necessary on the bottom. I think it's probably adding extra friction that doesn't really need to be there. So this is my really ugly print, <laughs> uh, for reasons I won't go into. Um, I just had my settings wrong. Um, so yeah, I just had installed the one socket there, the one uh, alignment pin. Um, so yeah, that one, that was one version. I got a bunch of these. <laughs> um, then we had this one, which was pretty good actually. Um, I was playing around with the height of this, of the sear collar. 
and you know trying to get it to fit in here I wanted to eliminate some of the play and I think I got it pretty well pretty well done let me see so here is let's see so okay so I was playing with the the, the shaft collar and I was also adding some alignment pins so you can see here this one has four oops this one has four alignment pins uh, or holes sockets um, <laughs> This one also had four alignment pins, but um, I'd accidentally forget to set these as female uh, in my in the in the settings, so they were actually smaller. Um, they, they didn't have any clearance on them, so it wouldn't fit in there. Um, I was able to just kind of torque those things off, which is why you can see that they're not there, but they were there. Um, but yeah, this is actually a pretty good prototype. Um, and here's the so you can see what I've done with the trigger. This was one of my older triggers. Um, with the wings at the top. Um, I've decided to move the wings in slightly um, just because I think these were interfering with the travel, I think, um, or with the sear. Oh, no, that's what it is. I made the um, I made the sear wider again, uh, or the sear block. It was, it was really narrow for a while there, so it was really thick, then it was really narrow, and now it's kind of thicker again. So it has its own track again. Um, and uh, so the the the, tr the trigger track you can see there in this top corner here. Oh, maybe you can see that. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that trigger track was just enough length so to contain the the trigger and the travel uh, or the, the the ears themselves. You know, the wings and the travel. Um, so I'm running out of time here, so I got to hurry up. Um, so what I did is I, I took the wings, and, and I was still getting a little bit of a rough travel, so I took the wings and I extended them. I'll show you the, the latest version here. I took the wings and I extended them so that they're longer, um, and I think that's going to make the the trigger more uh, robust and not want to wobble around as much. Um, this one has the thicker sear. You can see there. It, it pokes out a little bit from the side. Man, that is hard to see. Yeah, anyway. So many interruptions. Okay, I ran out of memory card space again. Um, anywho, I got five more minutes now. So what I've done with this one, I, I addressed one of the issues that um, was bugging me for a while. So in all of these, you can see that this, the spring sits right in the middle. Sorry. Let me sort these out again. So these two are paired, these are paired, and these are paired. So you can see the spring sits right in the middle, um, and that means that you have to clamp this housing around and and keep the spring from pushing out the side, um, which it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't want to stay there. So what I did is I took kind of this alignment pin idea, and I'm using, I get to use, you know, the, the sear collars a little bit for alignment. Get all these out of the way. Those are all prototypes that are dead now. Um, so what I did is I added this block here in the bottom, and uh, and I left a, a socket on the other side. So you can see here, the spring is actually down inside there. Um, it, it makes the print a little more complex, but it, it's definitely um, stronger and more robust. Um, the spring's not fucking flying out of there. So that's good. I also extended the, uh, the trigger track, or the wing track. Um, hollowed this out, added alignment pins here. So this actually goes together kind of snugly. Um, let's see if I can get it to go here. So you can see that lines up. There we go. But it's not trying to push apart anymore. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the latest work on the, the trigger uh, housing. And of course that just kind of you know, sits in there basically. Um, entertain the idea just for prototyping purposes of, of designing one of these where I could swap out the, the trigger the trigger housing. Um, I don't know that I care that much, and I'm actually fairly happy with the trigger now. Um, this is that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go print out another um, full size model, I think. Um, and see how that fits and see what the feel is like. Um, but yeah, so here's here it is. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, 
I don't think I have anything else. I do need to, I still need to add this rim. So here, let me show you the, the T, the <laughs> dealing with vitamins, right? Um, so this T here on the top of the rim is actually tapered. I might, maybe I'll clean that up today um, before I do this print so I don't have to heat gun these things onto the, onto the, the T anymore. Um, that's gonna be a lot harder with, uh, you know, just kind of rough fitting it. It's gonna be a lot harder with this. Um, you know, this new housing design with these pins um, because it's kind of snug. I mean, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> um, you can get it out, but it doesn't want to to get off very easily. So once it's on there, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get off. Um, the, oh sorry, you probably saw inside the trigger is also, you know, kind of captured. Um, so if you look there, see how the, the top of the pins uh, kind of hold it in place. Like the so the sear rod holds those pins down, right? And the track holds it in place. So this trigger doesn't want to go flying um, anymore, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think I'm going to take care of the T being a little um, tapered at the top here and uh, print out a new set and, and hopefully this this trigger this new trigger housing is uh, working the way I want um, with the whole thing so I'll fix that I think and then print out a set and we'll, uh, we'll do another update